using form products characters uh, for double price excellent quality with vitamin B B3 E AC2 curry like like this the skin hi <laughs> <Ay>, teacher curry <laughs> Vitamin. What? Vitamin. Ah, okay. Vitamins. B3. B3. Easy to carry. Lighting. Lighting. The skin. Prevents weaklings. Deep cleaning. Siguiente. Next. Next. Lightening cream with UV filter. Product characters of for affordable affordable prices, excellent quality with vitamin B3 with UV filter for oily skin. Okay, next me. me. Okay, all right, class. Um, what we're gonna do is the following. There are two, sorry, there are four groups. I am going to join, I'm gonna join two groups together, okay? And you're gonna be presenting your information to the other group. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna, I'm going to, from the two groups, I'm going to join them to make one group. And then one group is going to explain to the other group their information. Mm -hmm. And then that group is going, the other group is going to share their group, their information to the other group. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Great, so I'm going to, um, let me change right now. Okay, and I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes, no, eight minutes. I'm gonna give you eight minutes for both groups to present, okay? So here we go, let's open the, the rooms. Wherever yes. we can do it, okay. Here I share the screen about the product, our product shoes to share. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, okay. We choose the product line about. Pound Beauty 
found white beauty. Uh, and the product sí. line, we choose the facial cleansing line. We choose three products, a uh, cleansing foam, lightening cream, and moisturizer cream. Sí, Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. In clearance, even skin cleaning foam. Product characteristics affordable price, excellent quality with vitamin B3, easy to card, lighting the skin, prevents quick cleanse, deep cleaning. Okay, the second product is a lightening cream with UV filter. Product characteristics are affordable, affordable price, excellent quality with vitamin B3, with UV filter and oily skin. Okay, measuring, measuring cream. Product characteristics, affordable, affordable price, excellent quality, with vitamin B3, with cotton extract, take care of moisturizing your face. Future dish that attract customer. The price, the quality, benefits facial care, moisturizing the skin, and clean skin. Thanks for your attention. This is a good job. We are not uh, finished. Okay, you can present. And the uh, I select um a uh, mark uh facela and the products a uh, color pencil notebook and acrylics color uh, but not. Eh, no hicimos lo, las características por cada uno de ellos, sino por la marca. Ok, está bien. Eh, de de Facela y Using Scholar Stage. Um, it's not toxic. Um, high quality. And the customers. Eh, the, the product is attractive for the customers for 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 by of low cost. You finish? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, thanks. Congratulations. Congratulations. What happened? Why are we so quiet? I feel so nervous, teacher. Don't we finished. <laughs> okay, ask questions. Finish. 
Ask the other group questions. Oh. Aprovechen que están con otros para platicar. Okay. Who have? I like. Balls, small balls, uh, red. Yes, they, uh, are you talking about cerecitas, I think? Yes. <laughs> it's yes. my favorite. <laughs> it's good. Yes, but, I know. But it's so many sweet. Yes, and are cheap too. <laughs> they are very cheap. Yes. Yes, it's cheaper than others, other oh, brands. The, yes, other snacks. So that's why that's why uh, we think it's a it's a it's, it's a benefit of that product because it's cheap and the everybody internet, can buy about it. Yes. I can hear the the last part because the internet is. In a stable. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I I think the, the time is is over. <laughs> Somebody wants to share another. Another, another thing. It's other group. Or? Hi guys, I um, I made a mistake. I was sending you guys over to another group, but I'm going to actually switch right now. Okay, so I'm going to make a new group, and you're going to say to your new group the information that um, that you that you talked about. Okay, so so right now I'm changing the groups. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Change to the group. Hi. Hi, Carolina. How are you? Hi, Nelson. Hello. Hi, I can see Omar Francisco. Hello, Mr. And Marlene Nicole. Hello. 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 Hola, Dita. Hola, Caru. Hello. So you have a group? You can. We are, we are in a new. Yes. Now a new group. You can go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Okay. In the presentation, is uh, Norma. Do you want to explain the presentation? Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes, uh, because... No puede ser, no puede ayudar. Ahorita veo si comparto. Okay. okay. Thank you. Aquí está. ¿Lo pueden ver? Está lento ahorita. Olga. Ya va. Sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, what happened? Why, okay. why is everybody so quiet? Vamos, chicos. Es que yo creo que nos iban a mostrar algo, ¿verdad? O no. Sí, no lo ven. No ven mi, mi no, sola no. vemos. Okay. In second, is is nights a products lines to countries is a now less products larvel on to the lights clear and even sky cleansing form product characteristics affordable price excellent quality with vitamin B3. AC to carry, lightens the skin, prevents crinkling, then cleaning. Okay. Continue. The second product is a lightening cream, cream with UV filter. Is a the product characteristics are affordable prices, excellent quality with vitamin B3, with UV filter and oily skin. The third product, Mr. and Cream, product characteristics, affordable prices, excellent quality, with vitamin B3, with carbon extract, take care of your face. Future is that extract customer, attract customer. The price, the quality, benefit facial care, moisturize the skin and clean skin. And thank you for, thanks for your attention. Only. Wow, congratulations.
<laughs> Excellent. Okay. Special for kids. For kids in in adults. I like. I'm like. It's like. Okay, which are this brand? Because have a little bit for each client, for each age, and it is a big brand in a country. Only that. Mm. You guys are ready? Finish? One question. One question. One question. Yes, teacher. Finish. You need more time? You need more time or no? Yes. Yes, you need or more not time? question. Okay. All right, I'll give you one more minute. And the other presentation. A lot of group of questions. <laughs> I don't know. It's part, it's part of our life right now. It's part, yes, I think. But it's complicated because we need to wear masks all the time. What? Repeat, please. We wear masks all the time. Oh, that's terrific. Uh, it's awful. It's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. Uh, and a, lo a lot of uh, problems with, with the mask. We, we can breathe normally. And maybe... Mm -hmm. This is a problem for the future. Maybe, yes. But In your workplace, you need to wear your mask all day. No, not necessary because uh, I, I have a space to me then oh. just just when I have to go out, I, I need to, to use the, the mask. Oh, in my workplace, I need to wear mask all day. <laughs> it's a problem. Yes. I don't like that. Um, what the 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 other the other part of the group what what do you think i don't like to use Okay, so I hope you had the opportunity of talking to your classmates and sharing your ideas. 
Okay, we're going to move on to the next part of our of our class. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, stop sharing. Está muy pequeño. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Good. Let's talk about the present perfect. The present perfect tense expresses actions that were stated sometime in the past at no specific moment. Okay, so it, this is different from the simple past. The simple past, we know exactly when it happened. For example, I can say to you, um, I went to the movies this weekend. This weekend, we have a specific time when we went to the movies, right? Or I can say to you, um, I visited Barcelona last year. When did I visit Barcelona? Nice. Last year. Uh, it's just an <laughs> example. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Last okay. year. I, I, I visited last year. So you know when. That's If you know when is something happened in the past, that is a simple past. But if you don't know when it happened, if there is no specific time when it happened, then we know that it's the sim that's then we're going to be using the sim the the past perfect sorry the present perfect okay okay got it yeah the other reason is when we ha we have the actions that may or may not continue to the present okay so we don't know the action started in the past, but it's possible that it continues to the present. We don't know, right? To give an example, I can say to you, um, I have been an English teacher for, um, yeah, for 17 years. So that is something that started in the past but more likely I'm going to continue, right? I'm gonna continue being a teacher. Or I can say, for example, um, I have lived in the same house for five years. Okay, so it started in the past. In the past, I, I moved to this house and I've lived in the same house and I'm probably gonna continue living in the same house. So we know this it may or may not continue to the present whereas the simple past it's finished it's done if i say to you i went to the movies this weekend i don't continue going to the movies if i say to you i went to barcelona last year i don't continue going to barcelona does that make sense okay is that clear for everybody yes no not so much. Repeat, teacher, repeat, please. Not clear, repeat, please. Okay. Simple past, it's finished. It's in the past, it finished. Present perfect, we don't know when it happened, and it's possible to continue to the present or maybe even the future. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So remember, simple past, finished, and we know the time. Present perfect, we don't know the time, and it's possible the action continues to the present or future. Okay? So. Irretractive. Hmm? Irretractive. Sorry, what is retroactive. it? Retroactive. Retroactivo. The, I don't. Understand. No. 
es en cada momento. ¿Mm? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand all that. I understand, but that the present continuum or the present perfect mm -hmm. is um, is in the moment. Okay. Yes, we can use it in the moment, but. Um, but not necessarily okay here we're looking at how to use it about the past okay, okay. so in this case we're going to be using the word have and then the past participle as always going to be the form have or and the past participle okay now in the in the in in terms of a question Okay, the, so, okay, to give you an example, yeah, so in, in terms of a question, you're going to be um, doing it like this. Have or has the subject Plus past participle. And then the question mark. Okay. That's how it's going to be in terms of a question. Okay. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Not, not pretty clear, teacher. If it's a question, for example, have you lost your mind? So here is have. The subject is you. And past participle lost. Right? And then you have the, the complement, your mind. And a question mark. Right? Or like this one, have they always sold everything they offer? So we have here have, right? From here have. Then goes the subject, which is they. Past participle, sold. And then anything else, the, the, the complement, everything they offer. Or like this one, has. From here, Alejandro is the subject, past participle created, and the, the um, complement, a new product line. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. That makes sense. But teacher, one question. Mm -hmm. There are some information information or, or or additional information to to study this present perfect or or verb um, to be okay right now just stick to this information because if i start saying you can read this you can read that you're going to get a lot of lots of information and you're going to get lost okay so okay. let's just keep it like this okay it's also possible to, uh, but yeah, that's the question, okay? Now, in the negative, in the, ne in the negative form, we would answer, we, sorry, we could say, subject, plus, hasn't I'm sorry hasn't or haven't depends on the subject plus past participle And 
and then whatever it is, the complement. That would be if you're talking about, um, that would be if you're talking about the negative, okay? You're making negative sentences, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, if you're going to answer questions like, have you, have you um, been to Barcelona? Have you um, lived in the same place for a long time, et cetera, et cetera? Then in that case, you're, gonna, you're either gonna answer, there are two ways you're gonna answer. You can either answer, um, you can say, it, yes, subject, plus have or or has or we can say no the subject plus haven't or hasn't Okay, so those are the two options that we can have when we're answering a question. Okay, any questions about this? Or is it quite straightforward? Okay, so for example, have you lost your mind? Yes, I have, right? So yes, Subject is I, and then we have use, we use have, or no, I have it. No, the subject is I, and then we use haven't. Or have they ever sold everything they have? Have they ever sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Yes, they. Now another possibility is to make a complete sentence, right? Yes, they have sold everything they offer, or no, they haven't sold everything they offer. But this is not very common. In native speakers, we normally just make it very simple and just say, yes, they have, no, they haven't, okay? The same thing over here. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has, or no, he hasn't. It also, it's also possible to say, yes, he has created a new product line, or no, he hasn't created a new product line. But this is not very common. We would normally use this only if we want to emphasize the action. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Any questions? No. No? Okay, good. Because of time, I'm not going to get you to do this activity right now. I'm going to go on to the next explanation, okay? Which is reduction or reducing the, the reduced out of causes of time, okay? Um, now, uh, this part here, it's going to look a little bit tricky but it's not as tricky as you might think. Okay, it's not as tricky. So what happens is that when we have a adverb clause of time, that means that you have a main action and the other part of the sentence tells us when the action happened, okay? so. Tenemos una acción, pasó en algún momento, uh, y la otra parte, la otra cláusula del, de la oración, 
nos dice cuándo sucedió o sucederá eh, esa, esa acción. Ok. So, for example, in this one, after we conduct the SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with, the, with this project. What is the action? Who can tell me? What is the action? Conduct a SWOT analysis. No. What is the action? Uh, whether whether to go on or stop with this project mm, the action the verb go on or stop no the action the the, or the verb the verb uh, by i'll give you a clue no. the verb always goes after the subject we will know or, or no no good excellent So that's that's the act the action. Now what happens is that all of this information here is telling us when we will know. So this right here is telling us when we will know. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, so that is a, uh, uh, a time clause, okay? So, or an adverb clause of time, an adverb clause of time. The adverb clause of time is this part here. This part tells us when this action happens. So when will we know? After we conduct a SWOT analysis. Good. After we conduct the SWOT analysis. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So, um, basically, what happens is we, to be able to make it shorter, to reduce it, we have to follow the following thing. Eh, ah, por cierto. We can only reduce or make short if the subjects, the two subjects of the two clauses are the same. So tell me, try, let's try to identify what is, what is the adjective, sorry, the subject in the sentence here? What is the subject? Nosotros, we. we. We, oui, exactly. All right. What about here? What is the subject? We. Oui. We, oui, exactly. So can we reduce? Yes, we can, because it's the same subject. Okay, that's the first thing. First, you have to identify if we can reduce it. If we can reduce it because the subjects are the same, then we proceed to the next part. The next part is, If we, if we see the verb to be, then we can eliminate the verb to be, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, perdón, perdón. First, what we have to do is eliminate the, 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 the subject, okay? So in this case, we're gonna have to eliminate we, okay? That's the first thing we have to do. The second thing we have to do is, if there is a verb to be, we eliminate the verb to be. Okay, so that's the second step. First step, eliminate the subject. Mm -hmm. step, eliminate the verb to be. If we don't have the verb to be, what we do is we take the verb, And we just simply add ing. We add ing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. 
So what happens is, well, notice, notice what happens. Um, notice what happens with conduct. So we eliminated the verb, the, the, the subject we, there is no verb to be, so we, we can't eliminate it. And what we do is we, we change the word conduct and we uh, ding. So we end up with conducting. So if you notice in this sentence here, after conducting a SWAL analysis, we have eliminated the verb to be, sorry, the subject be, and we have changed the verb to ing. So it says conducting. So it says, after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Okay. I'll give you another example. Before we make a decision, this information is telling us when we need to go over. When we need to go over. Okay over the threats and that could affect the company. So this is this information here before we make a decision is giving us information about the subject we need to go about the verb or the action. Okay. okay. So what do we do? The first thing we do is we have to make sure that it's the same Subject. subject is it the same subject yes, yes. Right? we have we and we so we can proceed what are we going to do well first of all what we have to do is eliminate verb to be no we first we eliminate the subject which is oh, okay. we. Yes. the second thing we do is if there is a verb to be we also eliminate it but in this case there is no verb to be but there is another verb so we do the third step. The third step is adding ing. So we make make into ing. So it says, so it's going to say making. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay. okay. And so we end up with before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. The same thing for the next one. Before the new product, the product project gets a, a green light, we will need to be the threats from outside. So basically, this information right here is telling us when, when we need to beat the threats from the outside telling us in the information of when we can do it, okay? Now, so the first thing we're gonna do is check what are the subjects. And this we, one, what is the subject we, in this one? We, but in we, the we. other part, huh? is and we. Good, what is the subject in this one? Over here was the subject? It. Nope. The new, new product. product. The new product. The new product. So, do you have the same subject? No. No, the new product and we are two different subjects. So, therefore, we cannot reduce. Ya no se puede hacer okay. nada. O sea, así lo tenemos que dejar. We cannot reduce porque son dos sujetos diferentes. Okay. okay. Entonces, son tres. Uh, tres, bueno, digamos, sí. Son sí, sí. cuatro pasos, cuatro pasos que hay que dar. Uno, revisar si el, 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 el sujeto el, o el pronombre es lo, el mismo. Si es el mismo, entonces podemos seguir al, a la segunda, al segundo paso. Si no es el mismo, ahí nos quedamos. Ok. ¿Okay? Vale, entonces supongamos que es el mismo. Entonces, el segundo paso que vamos a dar es eliminar el sujeto 
el pronombre de la cláusula que nos dice la información de cuándo. ¿Ok? Si ustedes pueden notar aquí, after conducting no hay sujeto. Before the new, perdón, uh, before making a decision tampoco es sujeto. Entonces lo hemos eliminado. Ese es el segundo paso. Tercer paso. Si hay un verbo be, vamos a eliminar el verbo to be. Aquí no nos han dado ningún ejemplo con el verbo to be, pero si hubiese, simplemente lo eliminamos. Pero van pensando de que no hay un, un verbo to be, como en estos casos, lo que el tercer paso que vamos a dar es que vamos a cambiar el verbo original a la forma ing. So conducting, making. Son cuatro pasos. Questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Bye. Entonces, uh, we're going to stop there and we're going to be practicing. Uh, if you want, you can practice the, the sentences on your own. Okay. If you want. But if not, si no, eh, entonces lo vamos a hacer de todos modos el día de mañana. Entonces, esta, esta, este ejercicio de acá y este de acá vamos a hacer el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Pero eso sí, que lo, lo que es los, los, um, eh, la plataforma tiene que de, a ver, estar, estar completo para el día de hoy. Hoy por la, a la medianoche. ¿Ok? You have questions? Hasta cuál, hasta cuál tarea? Teacher? All of unit one. Toda la unidad uno. Mm. Okay. okay. ¿Preguntas? No, teacher. Ok. Bueno, entonces vamos a rápidamente a tomar asistencia. Tengan por favor su micrófono listo para solo abrir y decir present. O oh, presente. Uh, Cristina? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Ani? Present, teacher. Good. Um, Mari? Present. Good. Uh, Carolina? Present. Good. Cristina? Oh, Christy, sorry, Christy. Christy? No estoy. Okay. Um, Jorge? Present, teacher. Uh, Karen? Present teacher. Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Present. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? Nelson? Present oh, teacher. Okay, good. Nelson uh, Alfaro? Present teacher. Eh, Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Eh, Omar. Present. Eh, Silvia. Eh, sorry, Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay, Suleima Melgar. Y Tatiana. Present. Okay, muy bien. Bueno, entonces hoy me quedaría con. Christy. Y de ahí pues sería todo. Acuérdense de terminar la plataforma en línea hoy, esta noche y nos vemos mañana. Ok. Good night. Good night. Good night.